Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the WWE Universe. Tonight, I'm delighted to stand before you to announce that we've entered a new era. An era that promises to be bigger, bolder and more global than ever before. I'd like to start by thanking you, our incredible fans, for your unwavering support. It's thanks to you that we continue to push boundaries and create unforgettable moments. And now, let's talk about what lies ahead. Tonight, as expected, we'll have the long-awaited money in the bank, both men's and women's. Golden opportunities for those who can seize the chance of a lifetime and land that precious briefcase. But that's not all. Next week sees the launch of the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments. These iconic tournaments return to crown the best in our industry, and we can't wait to see who emerges victorious. Finally, I'm honored to announce that on Saturday, August 31st, WWE will present the very first PLE in its history in Germany, Bash in Berlin. This is a historic moment and we're excited to share this incredible experience with our German fans and the world. Get ready for a new era of WWE, filled with surprises, thrilling action and memorable moments. The future is bright, and I promise you this is just the beginning. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. The following contest is a six-woman ladder match. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A Dusty Rhodes classic winner who has had multiple tags team reigns, but Dakota Kai is not to be trusted. There are plenty of tag team accolades to Dakota Kai's name, but now she's taken aim at becoming a single success. Yeah, she is more than ready to captain her own ship. background, plenty of collegiate and amateur accolades for Chance. Now, all of which are apparent with her in-ring style. She's like a ninja in that ring. You know what, guys? I'd be hard-pressed to name a woman with a brighter future, in my opinion, here in WWE. She's proven herself not just as a capable singles competitor, but also a tag team competitor as well. Behold the modern day witch. Uh, that dawn gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn! The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. Don't let all the theatrics distract you from the fact that Isla Dawn is as vicious as they come. No doubt about that, Cole. Expect no mercy from Dawn in this one.
The evil genius of the sky is here, and our reign of terror is about to begin. A woman who has quickly taken control and of the women's division. Representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky! Io Sky's list of titles in Japan is a mile long across every major women's division. Yeah, here in WWE, Io has continued that success, but she has something now she didn't have then. She has control. Io Sky made her mark in NXT history as one of the most accomplished superstars in the brand's entire history. Yeah, but Io's change in attitude and her new allies ensure even more success in WWE. division made a comeback from injury succeeded when people thought she would fail Liv Morgan ready to prove anyone who still doubts her is wrong The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. championship title wins, a Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley is a 100% proven threat. No questioning that. You talk about nightmare opponents, Rhea Ripley is the living embodiment of that concept. It takes a lot of courage to step inside the ring with her. Courage or foolishness, dealing with a competitor on Ripley's level is a challenge that most superstars just aren't up to, period. She's that strong, that smart, and that deadly. seems more than happy to get things started. A competitor must seize opportunity in a match like this because there's no gear. Here we go. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Super 
superstar moves quickly while making sure they have a clear path up the ladder. You have to try to manage the carnage so that everyone's disposed with the rings clear so the ladder can be set up to climb. You have to move fast, but you cannot overlook your opponent, and you definitely cannot stop. To admire your work. Yeah, don't waste a single second on anything that isn't in the corner or the prize atop the ladder. You can enjoy the highlights later. Cole, I will be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Me too! It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. She's looking to win it here, guys. She's well on her way. Make no mistake about it. This match could end right here, right now. It could. Hands on the prize, and she got it. What a ladder match. and jaw-dropping match. Here is the... DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Johnny Gargano, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! Gargano and Ciampa back together again. It's so great seeing DIY reuniting and getting things done. And they look focused on getting back on top. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, carrying cross. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Tommaso Ciampa is always looking for the quickest and most efficient way to dispatch his opponents as brutally as possible. And I love that about Ciampa. No wasted time, no wasted energy. He lets his killer instinct take the wheel and is even willing to risk it all if he thinks it'll take his opponent out in the process. That willingness to put himself on the line has paid off for Ciampa before, but will that be the case in this one? But the devil's work is never done, and Karrion Cross is living proof of that. With a combination of intense ruthlessness and devious mind games, Cross isn't someone you look past. He's someone who runs through you, mind, body, 
and soul. Yeah, Cross is as dangerous as they come. You can never count him out, not even for a second. The sick, sadistic Cross finding amusement in all of this. Gut wrench applied. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Boom! <laughs> the ref's still counting. Might be a count out. Sharp elbows to the body. Looking to fight his way out. Re-entering the ring now. Champa sitting back. Saving us from having to sit through that. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is... Will this be enough? He gets an emphatic kick out. Just power out. Champ is as cutthroat as they come in this business. Not someone you want to take lightly once that bell rings. No, not at all, Cole. Which is why if you want to stand a chance against Champ, but you have to fight fire with fire. You have to be just as cutthroat, if not more so than someone like him. That's just the way it is. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Oh my God, a DDT! Spike them. The twisted mind of Tommaso Ciampa getting into a place many of us dare not know. Just endless knee strikes. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Oh, Northern Lights! Oh, what a DDT! Wow. Off into the pin. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Clawing the face, is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Into the and he goes for the pin. And he manages to kick out in one. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. A oh, timely counter by Cross. Cross showing outrageous power. Face buster incoming. What a savage attack from Darian Cross in the corner. Boom! There's the cross hammer. Will Cross make it pay off? Cover! He kicked out at two. Champa's black heart is still beating. But we'll have to find out if that was its last gasp. And Cross with a look of absolute fury on his face. He doesn't like being defied and really thought he had this one here. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Incoming. Good Lord, taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. This match is brutality starting to show. Him. That sort of hard-hitting offense is what we've come to expect from Champa. Oh! Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Champa just looking to humiliate his opponent. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. She heads out of the ring. Carrying cross. 
Rollins. Champa. There are sore losers, and then there's Champa. Go ahead, say that to his face. I dare you. extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy! The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, UK and NXT tag divisions as soon as they arrive. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy! Come on, Cole. Please? Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. up like this it's one that the locker room has wanted to see it's one that the wwe universe has wanted to see it's one that i've been waiting to see and it's about to go down Sassy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect for Pretty Deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. Each team looking to make an impact. 
looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxton. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Boom! Did you hear the impact? He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Leg drop! Sent into the corner. Oh, we're gonna grind the features off their face oh, right across the top row. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Counters. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, atomic drop. Loomis gets intercepted. Bullseye with the drop kick. Reaches his partner for the tag. Boom, what impact! Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways. They get harder to execute on even simple attacks. Tag made. Tandem offense on its way. Up across the shoulders. Oh, a gut buster. Is it enough? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Keeping in close quarters, and look at these lefts. Relentless. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh. He's been placed in the corner now. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Now he's been put on the defensive. He switches it back around. Oh, that'll rattle you. Lands the elbow. to the throat. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. What punishment being dealt from Wilson? Kit is making a statement. Big punch finds its mark. Gacy taking it by surprise. Oh, man, he has fired up now. for both athletes. The ring apron has his opponent hooked. My goodness, fucking DDT. Gacy able to avoid impact. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Kit feeling a sense of confidence here. With the counter. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Into the barricade. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Airball left slam. You can see Wilson's eyes taking aim. What's Kit thinking here? Spy buster. Kit can end this now. was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. Left by the turnbuckles. Tag. Drops him with a big shoulder tackle. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. He's lost some of his win now. And all the while, Loomis is staring him down with that icy glare. Kid is in a distressing spot. Every form of offense Wilson attempts is being neutralized. Kick! Ah, forearm all across the face. 
Yeah, this is about as close as you can come. They're playing with fire here. Oh, my God. Set up in the corner of the ring. Excellent tag team continuity. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's in off the tag. Oh, man. He's starting to struggle here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now a series of vicious stops in the turns. Oh, He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! Nobody home! Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Oh, just gouging the face! That's not right. There's a tag. He skirts around it. Spear! For the win! Two! Kicks out. He still has life. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Tags him in. Can we get a timeout, please? He's asking nicely. There's no timeouts allowed. Looking wobbly in the corner. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running. Both knees into the face. That might end Joe's chances. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here are your winners, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. And the celebration has already begun for Pretty Deadly. As annoying as they can be, this is what Pretty Deadly does. They win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Alberto, representing Legado del Fantasma from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel Garza! We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition.
his opponent, accompanied by Carl Anderson, representing the good guys, by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows! You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in this big time match. A man of many names, Luke Gallows dead set on being mean and making green tonight. Few people have achieved the kind of success Gallows has in every corner of the world. The big man has long been a dominant force in the ring, whether he's riding solo or facing off in tag team competition. For a man like Luke Gallows, the world is in his hands and the future looks bright. And on the other end is Angel, who I think a lot of people expect big things from. And rightfully so. Angel is sports entertainment royalty. Look at this! Somersault plancha! Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. And he's able to fight Angel off. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Knees meet face. One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen, but admittedly, like many big men, Luke Gallows is a bit limited in his arsenal. I wouldn't go that far, Cole. Gallows has a lot of speed and agility for a man nearing seven feet tall. Couple that with his size, and he might be one of the hardest hitting competitors in WWE. He's getting a little better now. Hammering away! The cover, shoulders down. That was a long two count there. Saw it coming and got out of there. A running hurricane Rana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. And Gallows reverses. Look at this straight big power slam. Sharp clothesline. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Ooh, clothesline deliver. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Three. Just cranking the head. Oh. Luke Gallows clearly wants a fight here. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He deflects it right back. Oh, kick right to the gut. Gallows is pressing the advantage hard now. Gallows has just been unloading on his opponent with everything he has here. Spiked. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Tossing them aside. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, God. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Gallows using his strength to his advantage. Gallows pull. Check. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Luke Gallows. Luke Gallows collecting a win here. His confidence has to be rocked after this loss. Well, at least Angel has good looks. Something he can fall back on.
enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Osaka, Japan. The WWE Women's World Champion, Asuka! As dominant a force as any superstar we have ever seen, male or female. Had the historic undefeated streak to prove it, started her WWE career without losing for an unprecedented 914 days. The sadistic Asuka coming into this match with devious intentions. A woman who's always been a master of mind games, but she's taken it to new heights. And now, more than ever, nobody is ready for Asuka. She is the top gaijin of the women's division. Blair Davenport ready to take down her next victim. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport! Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. Well, I checked the odds and there is a strong chance that this woman is not ready for Asuka. Here we have one of the most unique competitors in all of WWE, Asuka. She has a style all her own and the swagger to match it. Hard to imagine anyone else pulling off one of Asuka's eye-catching outfits. The only thing more colorful than Asuka's ring attire and hair is her approach to in-ring competition. Few superstars are as dynamic and original between the ropes as the Empress of Tomorrow. Between her in-ring skills and her fashion sense is the... Whoa! Suicide dive! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off! Oh, that hurt right to the kidney! Golly! Boom! What a double axe handle! Corey, as we get deeper in this match, what do you think will be Asuka's key to success? I mean, besides just being Asuka? I don't know if intimidation alone will win it tonight for Asuka, so I'd have to say simply asserting her dominance as often as possible. Never slow down, never let up on the offense. Forearm to the kidneys! Oh. And that stops whatever Blair had intended. Oh, That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submission. Oh, this is unique. Oh, man, what a counter. Great escape. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. The Kimura. Oh, the Kimura. Kimura lock up front. Good luck getting out of this. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Arm trap. One after the other. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? 
I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Saxton. Now we'll see if this is dynamite or a dud. Big back body drop. Can she do it here? And the referee stops the count before two. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oscar's being overwhelmed. This is Davenport looking at her best. Hangman's neck break. Oh, gosh. So big. <laughs> Elbow throw saying not today. It neck breaker attempt. Oh, look at the power. No other plans instead. A neck breaker of their own. Look at this. So much damage inflicted. She's taking a beating here. Yeah, Asuka putting real ferocity behind every move she makes. of breathing room as of late. Oh, what a chop! And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye. That's one of my all-time favorites, the octopus stretch. You can see the agony on her face. Oh, this is unique. Oh, man, what a counter! Great escape! Submission maneuver. Oh, look at this. Oh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. German suplex spiked. Blair can't seem to get out of harm's way. Blair needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Asuka setting up from Asuka. She's going. A heartbreaking defeat for her opponent, but she is yeah, soaking it all out there. Look, this was an incredible matchup between these two. And she what the why? Well, because she can, I guess. I guess winning the match wasn't enough. She wants to make sure her opponent oh, never oh. competes again. This is just sad. Now, I like the way this matchup starting. Yeah, some good sportsmanship, or <laughs> maybe not. Now's no time for sportsmanship. These two want to tear each other apart. It was just a handshake. 
These two can't stand one another. I can't wait to see them throw hands. Match underway, and as we just saw, there's obviously a lack of respect between these competitors. Look, Cole, it's just business here. No need for the niceties or handshakes or hugging it out. I'm just pointing out a lack of common courtesy here, Corey. It's all competition, Cole. Don't forget that. The time for niceties can be after the belt if they so choose to see fit. Super human. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Wait for it. Boom! Alabama slam. Gunther shifts that to his favor. Shot to the chest. Tossed into the corner. Uh-oh. He had it scouted. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Tossed without regard. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. We know for a fact that Gunther isn't going to back down from this fight. He isn't going to hold anything back against Sheamus. Yeah, and he really shouldn't. Gunther's going to need to take all of his best to cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Taking this match off the mat now. From the top, what? Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. Able to interrupt the attack. The Irish brawler's got him where he wants him. What noise! And there's no doubt he'll be cursing Sheamus' name for weeks after that. Oh, stop! Crushing the knee there. I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And Gunther starting to really feel the wear and tear on this battle. Sheamus came looking for a fight, and this is clearly just what happens when he finds a fight. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Respect shown to them before the bell. You can't deny that it gave them a bit of an edge in this one. An edge that yeah, let's get the party started. Whoop, whoop. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Caden Carter from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Katana Chance! Somehow their energy's already turned up to 11. Hope she stretched before this match. The submission magician is going to test her flexibility. Submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. Prepare yourselves. This is not for the weak of heart. Expert joint manipulation, unlimited aggression on tap. 
focused on dominance, would rather submit opponents than gain a pinfall victory. She's a badass, plain and simple. Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler here looking ready for action. A superstar known for her very technical, very methodical style in the ring that catches catch can style that drives her offense. Considered a submission magician. Baszler said it herself. Whoever's in the ring with her, they have three very clear options. Tap, snap, or nap. More superstars could learn a thing or two about succinctness from Baszler. Her style definitely leaves little room for interpretation outside of those three very clear directives. But it doesn't get more exciting in the ring than Katana Chance. Big energy, even better athletic ability. Chance is not a competitor you ever want to discount. Enable to counter. Jeez. Oh, did we just see a tooth fly out? She can end it here. Staying in this one. Scoop slam! Shayna Baszler just punishing her opponent. And Shayna is on a roll. If I'm standing across the ring from Shayna Baszler, I know I can't beat her in a straight up fight. So what do I do? I focus on stamina and simply outlasting my competition. Shayna's used to ending fights quickly, so stamina may be the key to solving the submission magician. As long as you don't get from way up, double axe handle. Chump knee. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms. My God, what a striking display. Every strike more devastating than the last. The Queen of Spades showing her power. Yokosuka cutter. Cover! Two. Kicking out in time. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Shayna Baszler. Up and over. Sixed in. This one's over. This one's over. There's no escape. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Baszler now going to the top. From the top. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Big form. Extra luster behind that kick. Gotta respect the strategy to work over the arm. Great counter by Baszler. Catching a cutter. This match may be nearing its limit. There is no way this can go on for much longer. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. You hear the talk in the locker room. The anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Uh-oh. Phoenix splash from the second rope. An impressive move by chance. Mighty things come in small packages. Top rope! Chance concealed it here. There's two. She kicks out. I don't believe it. Wow. Somehow, Shayna Baszler was able to kick out and remain in this match. Baszler's a fighter to her very core. That is fire in your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Body buster. And Baszler showing off her fire spirit, so to speak, with that move. I'd say it was more like kill. Sent hard to the outside. This superstar picking up speed. Oh, wrecking ball. Drop kick. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, 
Damage to the hamstrings. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And gets tossed back into the mat. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Drop kick to the knee, that's great strategy. She covers for the pin. And that'll do it, it's finally over. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Dana Baker! Disappointment setting in for Katana Chance. The Lone Wolf about to pray on Monday Night Raw. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Glove boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus! Nearly 15 years into his WWE career, Sheamus still manages to deliver banger after banger. Okay. After banger. We got it. After banger. Would you stop? After banger. Oh my gosh. After banger. Quiet. After banger. Shut up. After banger. I love it. After banger. Ugh. After banger. Here comes the Scottish warrior. A man whose mean streak grows by the day. McIntyre answers to no one and fights only for himself. Now Drew is hell-bent on having his arm raised tonight, and I would not want to be the one to stand in his way. There is no getting between Drew McIntyre and his goals. 
Whether the WWE Universe supports him or not, Drew will stay on the top of the food chain in WWE. Drew McIntyre has an unparalleled focus, refuses to let the outside noise get to him. Yeah, as clear-headed as a superstar can be, which only makes him even more dangerous. WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. but he hasn't. Kept evolving his game, continuing to grow as a competitor. That's exactly, Michael, why Randy Orton is so dangerous. In fact, you could say that Randy Orton is better now than ever before. Conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time. when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. 
Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. Punk's return was an amazing moment, but now he must capitalize. Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? The first Money in the Bank ladder match took place 15 years ago at WrestleMania 21. Since then, we've witnessed incredible triumphs and thrilling catch-ins. Tonight, somebody's life will change forever, Cole. And given the physical punishment the participants endure in Money in the Bank, the winner will have earned it. A decade and a half of Money in the Bank ladder match participants will all tell you you lose a piece of yourself, but it's all worth it for that contract. It's such a dangerous match that's not only career changing, but career threatening. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Well, what can be the deciding factor in this type of match goes beyond a real encounter? Or climbing up the ladder can be a challenging or not. But doing that when several competitors are trying to do the same thing requires a heightened level of awareness. Superstar needs to be careful since they can fall victim to an ambush from any angle. That's especially the case in an environment like this where it's every superstar for themselves. He's taking this to the floor now. And he gets set back into the ring. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a confidence. He gets slapped a lot for him. It's none of your business, Cole. He's lost some of his win now. Got him where he wants him. Oh, and the vintage Falcon Arrow. Full impact. Sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. Every strike more devastating than the last. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. He's latching on to it. Come on, he got him quicker than this. For once, I agree with you. Look out, they're high above the ring here. I feel like something really bad is about to happen. He's taking this fight to new heights, gentlemen. I see what you did there. Series of reversals. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Just taunting his opponent now. He set it up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Oh my god. Oh. Watch the precision with this. What a blow. Carefully measured right. Step back and measuring his opponent. He is running up the engine. He's not going to let anything slow. Oh, driving the elbow. Heading up, he's thinking big. Sky high. Oh, that's it. What a splash. Suplex. 
Very nice. Neckbreaker. Hooked up. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Right across the legs. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He may be in a bad way here. At this point in the match, though, I wouldn't call anyone out. Look at this. Snap suplex. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. from climbing that ladder before you. Down on the power bomb. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Saw it coming and it burst into the arm drag. 
reckless as this match goes on. Yeah, Orton does not want to play around much longer. Big knee to the midst. And now back to Randy Orton. Oh, he's doing anything it takes, but he's still got a... Hawk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Go to sleep. That usually signals the end is near. But the final prize is still dangling above the ring. Hits the drop kick. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Straight impact on the throat. Slam. And we see the attention being put on the torso. Oh my! What a chance for the brain kick! Back to Sheamus. That's the kind of big move it takes to succeed in a match like this. But now, can he muster up the energy to make the climb up the ladder? The energy in here is palpable. Something truly special is unfolding before our eyes. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And returning to the ring. Side slam. Nice. Both arms captured. And vitriolic stops. The stomp in every single part of his body. away, living to fight another day. Big boot! Good by Rollins! Oh and the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. And Sheamus is countered. Oh my gosh! That'll stop anybody. Thanks for coming. And now is the time to act and go for that brass ring. Oh, Barbera come out of stops. Into a neck breaker. He's back into the ring. Back suplex, no. Driven down. Tackles, ruthless. to do next. Holy, that was an awful landing. Caught with the foot. And he barely evades. Tucks his tail between his legs and gets out of there. Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. But he's still got to climb the ladder. That's the only way this match ends. continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. Striking while the iron is hot. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. He got 